no victim should have to worry that, that their abuser is ever going to contact them again. A new law aims to protect victims of violent or sexual crimes. Kaylee's law is named after Kaylee Kozak, who you just heard from there. It goes into effect in Arizona on Saturday. The Maricopa County attorney explaining today how this should better protect victims. Michael Raimondi is on this story. He was there today and is live with us with more. Michael. Yeah, so the hope here is just uh, that someone who is abused or seriously harmed never has to see their abuser really ever again. If a convicted abuser's probation ended, there was real no protection for a victim at that point. So this law is really hoping to change that. People who have seen the worst in others can have a little more peace of mind this weekend. It's very important to me that victims have uh, protection and a voice in the system. And Maricopa so County Attorney Rachel Mitchell says more people than you might think are abused by family or someone they know. Kaylee Kozak knows how awful that experience can be. I knew I had to do something because no victim should ever have to do what I had to do. Kaylee was abused as a child by someone she knew. It's the hardest thing she's ever dealt with, and the trauma sticks with her every day. There is no such thing as protection that comes post-probation, and I could not believe that that was the case. After finding out the person that harmed her was trying to end his probation, Kaylee tried to get a protection order against him. The judge could only do that if there was a recent encounter with the abuser, but that won't be needed anymore. A victim's story does not end when their case closes. That's just the chapter that's closing, and they have to live with what was done to them for their entire life. It doesn't go away. She worked the past couple of years to get this law passed, and it was named Kaylee's Law after her. Starting Saturday, a convicted abuser would be charged if they are contacting someone they harmed. He took part of my life. He doesn't get any more. You don't get to just reinsert yourself into someone's life that you've ruined because of a choice that you made. Kaylee said this is a sigh of relief. Now, this is her message to anyone who's dealing with abuse right now. You still matter and you are not alone. You are stronger than you know. Now, Kaylee's law also became law in Wisconsin, so now only two states have this. She says she wants to get all 50 states on board. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family. Michael, thank you.